After a few hours spent driving across the savannah, we finally arrived at the beautiful Sopa Lodge. It sits up high on the eastern rim of the one and only Ngorongoro Crater. Now for the Puddin' Eye, this will be our second time staying at this amazing lodge. Sadly, I'm still feeling a little under the weather, so I won't be using the beautiful pool this time. But I will be enjoying the scenery, that's for sure. So as soon as we drop off the bags in our room, I'll start walking around. What a room it is. Well, why should we just sit here when we can go sit up in the bar area? Where I can enjoy a nice pina colada, my main drink. And as the sun sets, we can see that much of the crater floor is actually flooded due to all the recent rains. So as the sun goes away, the moon comes up to say hello. And it's still out as we all wake up early the next morning and get set to go down into the crater. The drive down takes around 20 minutes or so. It's like its own little world. A world full of jackals. This one has already caught its breakfast. Probably a little rodent of some kind. Jekylls are canines just like our dogs, and the two can actually breed together, but obviously that's not a good thing, and it's highly discouraged. But where there's one jackal, you'll often find another. And we keep finding another, and another, and another. Well, you guys go off and tell all the other animals that aren't jackals to please come out and say hello. There are an estimated 25,000 animals in the crater, with a ton of predators all around. The pudding is searching high and low for anything non-jackal. And here we go, a skeleton. Well, when searching, the easiest animals to find is the largest, the elephant. This one's hanging out with some ostrich. I have never seen the fog so thick in the crater. We can't even see the other side of the walls. We can see these lions stretched out on this little hill. They have an excellent vantage point from up there. seems like everything is either eating or relaxing this morning. This hyena can't even be bothered to pick its head up. But all our heads are up with excitement as we can now cross off the big five list. Because there it is, a rhino. A black rhino. And recently, their numbers have actually gone up a little. With all the media attention and protection, hopefully the worst is over for these animals. But we must keep on protecting them, as the illegal trade for their horns is a constant pressure and strain on them. I've seen Rhino on my other two crater visits, but this is actually the closest one has been to the road. We're now getting a few good animal sightings, either right on or just off the road. But we're losing this road as we're now entering the flooded area. We're going to have to cross some scary areas to get towards the way out. Not everyone is having a good luck making around this crater floor. As we make it past one sketchy area, we take a long break so our excellent driver, Nikki can look around for the best option out. And we can use this time to check out some birds that are taking advantage of the flooded areas. Like this hammer cop. And these storks, who are also enjoying their new and large hunting grounds.
This is a nice calm air to get our heartbeats down, as they're about to go up again as we move forward. But you're saying to yourself, Brian, this doesn't look that bad. That's because I wasn't filming as the Jeep was rocking from side to side and the water was up past our hood. I was holding on for dear life and doing my best to protect the camera gear. Uh, and my wife. All right, we got three. Get a little bit. World War Three. <laughs> now it should be all smooth sailing as we drive towards the exit. And while the pudding is relaxing, watching their favorite animals, zebra, I notice on the other side of the jeep, a wildebeest just had a baby. Check out that little one. It better be pretty careful with all the hyena and lion around. So far, it's doing a great job of keeping up with mom, considering it's like a few minutes old. That's why I'm not impressed when human parents tell me their kids start walking at a year or so. This baby is like two minutes old. Beat that, humans. Well, that's a perfect way to end our crater drive. Let's start making our way back up. I'm not sure when the next time is that I'll get a chance to come back to Tanzania or the crater. Hopefully within a few years. I just love Africa, and I hope you all get a chance to visit sometime. And just as I'm reflecting on the cool things I saw on this trip, wildlife reminds me it ain't over yet. Hey Buffalo, how are ya? And now we're back on the rim of the crater. What a morning it was. We'll spend our afternoon and evening at the brand new Marrera View Lodge. A perfect place to relax just outside the crater area. And then the next day, I find myself boarding a plane. And then a day after that, I'm waiting for a ride at O'Hare Airport back home in Chicago. Coming home is always fun when there's a dog waiting for you. That's a crazy dog. Hey, Pop. I love you. I love you. Thanks for watching. Hey, Pop. <laughs>